Okay, so now I've already made the holes because all I do basically is use this awl. It's very pointy. And I just put it in the spot where I want it. So I put it here, here, and here. And I just push it down on the table into a surface that doesn't matter if you get a hole. And I just keep going back and forth. But you know what you can do? Because this was very thick for me to do. When it's still soft, around four to six hours, and it's still somewhat soft, you can put your holes in then. Um, dumb me, waited till it was uh, hard and finished, which I've done with the rest, but they used to be thinner. Now I'm making them thicker. So it was a little bit harder to do, unless I had a drill, but um, it was fine. But basically this is how I do it. I just keep going back and forth till it comes out on the other side. And then I have my hole here. I can paint that when I'm done. And that's it. But the smarter way would be to do it when it's still, you know, four to six hours, still a bit soft. Just put your holes in. You don't even have to put holes in. You can put, you know, those, um, the one, the clips that you glue on the side with the little hooks. You could do that too. So any way you decide to hang it is fine. I like to do this because I like putting in my fishing line. And I have my beads here. So, anyway, I take the fishing line, and I'm going to add my string and beads. And I make it pretty long, and I double it over. Actually, triple. I make it pretty long, maybe, maybe two to three feet. And then triple, because I'm going to have three holes. You can do it as long as you want. So now I have three whole, three pieces of string, fishing line. You can use wire. I just like fishing line because it's very, it's somewhat invisible. And I just like how it looks with the beads and the bowl. And I just go in like this, add it through, bring both pieces up to meet like that. So mine is about 18 inches it'll be. So it was three feet long and then I doubled it so it's like 18 inches. And then I'll just choose my beads. I do all different ones depending on what I like. So I'm going to use some yellow And I just feed both ends of the string through the bead and pull it down. Oh, get my other ones out of here. And then I'll just choose my colors and my beads. I just do whatever I like, obviously. You can have a color scheme. I'm using gold, yellow, and orange. Those are the three I'm going to have. Okay, so then I just take that one and put it to the side. Then I string my next one. Bring them up to meet. And I'm going to do a star, a gold star then the yellow, then the orange, and then I'm going to put this one to the side, and then I add the last one. Bring them up to meet. Silver Star. Oh. OK. 
Okay, now I grab all six strings, bring them up to the top. Set the ball down on the table to make sure it's flat. And then bring all the strings up and tie a knot. And then I'll add a hook at the top. One of those, um, well actually I do a double knot. I'll do it once and then again. And then I pull it tight. And that is it. I'll put a hook up here, one of those um, lanyard hooks. I'll hook it into here and then it'll be a hook up top or any kind of, if you have an S hook, I might even do this a third time. Oh. Uh, two times is good. You can even use a little lighter to melt it together. You know, just put a little lighter under here and it melts it together. that is it oh no it's not I have one more step I have to spray it so now I use um, rust-oleum 2x gloss clear and I put about five coats on and I usually go outside and I spin it and spray it for the top and then I do the same for the bottom and I do that five times with a couple hours in between each coat you don't want to spray it, you know, too soon together. You put a coat on, top, bottom, then you let it sit for a couple hours. It's best when it sits out in the sun. But if not, I would leave a little more time. If it's not sunny and it's just humid, I would leave a little more time in between. And I do about five coats. Make sure I get in all the nooks and crannies. Uh, you can turn it upside down. You can lay it on outside somewhere and then just spray it. And... Also, you can fill in here with the pink color. I'm just going to use a little of the green and just use my finger and put it in. But that's it. I totally forgot to do the edge. <laughs> that's what happens when I make my lessons too many parts. I forget some of the things I have to do. All right, for the edge, I'm doing gold. I'm not going to do sparkle. So I'm using this Deco Color Premium Prime Primo Gold Leaf pen. It smells bad, so you should do it outside. But I'm going to be quick, so I'm just going to do it in here. I just take the pen, make sure, dab it, make sure there's some paint coming out. There's a lot. And I'm just going to go around the edge before I spray the clear color. I put this on first and let it dry. before I spray the clear coat. And I also do it before I put the strings on, or the fishing line, I should say. That's okay though, it's not a big deal, but you just don't want them in the way when you're doing it. This pen is getting a little old, so it's very thick. It's not going on as liquidy as usual. These pens, I feel like you have to buy, um, you know, you can't use ones that are old. This isn't too old. It's only a couple months old, but I already see a difference in it. So I don't buy too many of them at once. I actually only buy one at a time because I don't want them sitting around.
Okay. Okay. Now I covered it pretty well, but you can go back and add some more. A little area, see. I took it off, taking it off the fishing line. That's okay, just put the um, edge on. Always do the edge before the fishing line because it just is a pain this way. Okay, and it gives it just a very nice highlight. Okay, now I'm done. I'm going to go hang it, though. I'm not going to let it sit. I'm going to hang it above uh, my heat vent because it's raining out today. Okay, bye-bye.